Tonight, disturbing new details in the tragic death of One Direction member Liam Payne. Late yesterday, the 31-year-old pop star falling about 40 feet from his third floor hotel room in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Paramedics pronouncing him dead at the scene. The security ministry now tells ABC News the singer jumped from the balcony, but authorities are still investigating if it was intentional. He is believed to have been alone in his hotel room, but reports say earlier the singer had been acting aggressively and erratically in the hotel lobby. A concerned hotel manager making this 911 call in Spanish requesting help. Y necesitamos que nos envíen a alguien urgente para una habitación que tiene balcón y bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo que, que le ponga en riesgo su vida. The prosecutor's office confirms these photos shared with ABC News were taken inside Payne's hotel room, appearing to show drugs and a smashed television. A preliminary autopsy report saying Payne's death was a result of multiple traumas and internal and external bleeding, adding Payne didn't seem to adopt a reflex posture to protect himself and that he could have fallen while in a state of semi or total unconsciousness. Overnight, shocked fans gathering outside the Casa Sur Hotel. We can live forever. Payne had been in Argentina since the beginning of October when he attended the concert of former One Direction bandmate Niall Horan. Good morning, everybody. He posted this video to Snapchat okay. just hours before his death. Payne leaves behind a son. Tonight, his family saying, We are heartbroken. Liam will forever live in our hearts and will remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. And for the first time, his former bandmates speaking out in a joint statement, we are completely devastated by the news of Liam's passing. We will miss him terribly. Liam Payne had previously been open about his struggles with alcoholism. The medical examiner has now requested a toxicology report. Trevor Alt, ABC News, New York.